Welcome back to Crash Course number nine. This is our Source 2 Hammer tutorial series. I'm Sam Ichimone Hihi, uh, Ali Yubi from the Eagle One development team. And uh, we're going to continue off of the Light Probe volume and cube maps that we talked about last time and uh, go ahead and move on with how we can actually see the lighting uh, when it's actually going to be compiled or if we want to preview it in editor. Now, before I continue, I do want to uh, shout out uh, that our Discord linked below is an active discord that constantly encourages people uh, to jump on voice chat share their screen get help also if uh, you need a little bit of help with the vmaps we're going to go ahead and give you access to the github that allows us to post these tutorials on there so you can follow along uh, hopefully you guys can join us in discord we hope to see you there uh, now uh, this actual uh, lighting that we see if i press f6 is really not going to be how it shows up when we fully compile everything but that's because it's using something called VRAD 2. It's using dynamic lights and as a result of that it's not able to cast uh, indirect lighting so you, you're just going to see these dark dark shadows. So there's a couple of ways we can do it. We can uh, try to see the lighting through compiled ways or we can go ahead and see it through the editor. Now let's go to just look at it through the compiled way and most people uh, when they bring up the compilers there's so many settings they get confused so let's go over each and every single one of them. Uh, let's start with fast compile. Okay if I click fast compile and I'm going to uncheck build cube maps on load for now because this is unchecked by default i'm going to explain this in a second uh, fast compile i'm going to click build this is going to build the geometry it's not going to build viz all right it's not going to build any of the lighting okay it's just going to uh, go ahead and it's going to use vrad2 lighting if, if it's needed to to be able to simulate what's going on uh, so i can pretty much see here everything that i see in the editor and if you look at the top of the screen you'll notice it says preview lighting not indicative of final yeah that's because you want to be able to make sure that you bake this. Now, <clears throat> I used to make the mistake when I jumped in and uh, before I understood how lighting fully worked, I used to think that uh, this was the uh, best type of lighting because I, I couldn't quite get the baked lighting to really pop out. Uh, so I want to make sure that we understand that this is really for testing geometry and it's not for testing lighting in any capacity. And now, when it comes to the next setting, okay, we have a full compile. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and click full compile and I'm going to click build cube maps on load as well. So we don't have to do this every time. Okay, uh, I'm going to do this for now because I'm going to tell the engine to build everything. This is going to build visibility. If I want to expand this, you can see all the different settings that are here. It's going to build it at a default resolution of 1K light maps. What this is going to do is it's going to create uh, basically a giant, giant UV of all the light and how it works in the level and it's going to apply it uh, so that way in the compiled version it runs without having to calculate calculate these lights because it's already been calculated on your end. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and close this up and I'm just going to let it go ahead and build on its own. It's going to take a little bit of time so I'm going to go ahead and pause this and then I'm going to continue when it's done the build process. All right, the full compile is finished, and if we take a look now as we walk around, we can see that we have our indirect lighting. The light's bouncing off, and you can see that uh, with the cube maps, which is causing uh, the reflection of this orange, uh, we can see a little bit uh, bouncing off of the walls. Uh, over here, we can see that the shadows are, are, are correctly uh, and uh, much uh, more sharply defined. And we can go ahead, the higher the light map resolution, uh, the the better the shadows are going to be. And so right now at 1K, 1K is really okay, you know, if you're testing maps, uh, if you just wanted to get it out there. Uh, but, you know, the higher we go, the, the better everything is going to look. All right, so that's what our full compile is going to do. Uh, but it's something that uh, it, it does take a little bit of time, especially if you don't have the fastest of machines all right uh, so uh, the other uh, way that we can compile is a final compile okay final compile this is when everything's done this is when all your settings are finished it'll have the light map set to 2k you'll probably want to go to 4k honestly if you want to publish it uh, in order for everything to look a as nice as possible and we'll actually have a, a, an entire uh, like uh, uh, tutorial set for how compiling settings are going to be your uh, um, ability to really push out the content that you want everyone to see at the highest settings that are possible if your machine can handle some of your machines can't handle the higher compiles and it may actually crash. 
The other thing we have here is an entity only compile. Okay, entity only. All right, if I go ahead and press Shift O, I can see the player start. This is my way if I make changes to anything that um, is entity only related. And lights do not count. Okay, lights, even though they're under the entity uh, section, they are actually uh, calculated uh, separately from only entities. Um, if I change uh, geometry, if I change lights and I, I want to see it, uh, I have to do uh, at least a fast compile. But if I only change, you know, entities and I don't change any geometry or lighting I can go ahead and run this real quick and it's just gonna uh, make uh, any changes that I've made to my entities uh, compiling a lot quicker than having to go through everything else so here I move my player start and uh, when this finishes you're gonna see that the only difference uh, is exactly where I spawn which is as soon as this loads sorry my computer is a little bit slower there we go right outside all right so all of this uh, is a great way to be able to try and, and, and figure out exactly how the lighting is going to look, but it takes compiling. Okay? Now, if I want to see it in, in, in my game, hey, uh, I'm sorry, in my editor, without having to compile it, here's a couple of different ways that you can do that. Okay, The first way that we can do that, and this is a really, really convenient way, so get used to this. Up here, I'm going to go ahead and select RT Baked Lighting. Okay, Now this is going to give me a quick uh, sketch essentially of how that lighting is going to bounce. Okay, notice the walls are plain. The, it's not going to show all the details of the materials, but this is really giving me a great indication of exactly if I were to render how that light would play out in the scene. Hey, I, I don't want to spend more than really 15 20 seconds. Okay, I'll move over here. Same thing. Let's do a little RT baked lighting, and right away uh, I'm getting a much clearer picture of exactly how this render is going to look. So I really recommend using this uh, as you go around to kind of spot inside of your maps or outside where uh, you think that lighting needs to be altered. Make the changes and then go ahead and run another quick pass. And that way you don't have to sit there and compile over and over and over. Now the other thing I can do also is I can hit uh, click preview baked lighting. Okay, by clicking preview uh, baked lighting, it's going to go ahead. Uh, I have already generated one earlier, so I'm going to go ahead and just have it generate another one. Generate photon maps. It's way of essentially uh, doing what we did with a full compile, but without having to do viz. Uh, it's a little bit faster, but it does take some time. So I'm going to go ahead and let this uh, finish out, and then I'll show you the results. All right, it just finished. Uh, so if I go ahead and I press F6, uh, now in editor, I get something that looks very similar to what I saw in a uh, full compile. It's not going to be as nice, so you can see these shadows are much rougher. And it's not going to be exact, but it does do a pretty good job of showing me exactly how that lighting is going to look. And you can even see here the cube map reflections, a little bit slight orange uh, showing that reflectivity. All right. Uh, the other thing that uh, I wanted to make sure that I showed you uh, is uh, since we've gone ahead and compiled it, we actually have viz data. So let's go ahead. Uh, I'm going to load compile viz data. Let's see exactly how Viz looks. Let's pull back, and we can see right now uh, Viz is looking uh, it's looking pretty solid overall. Uh, I have uh, boxes here that are showing you what is being generated, what the player can and can't see. Uh, if I have major leaks, uh, you would see that these boxes would be going all the way and extending out way beyond the sky box. Uh, but right now, as we're taking a look inside, <clears throat> our viz is looking like it's actually doing a pretty good job of keeping everything within where the player is capable of going. All right. So that's going to be our compiled uh, uh, tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. And uh, we hope to see you guys in our Discord as well as tutorial number 10.